It's always good to be back in uh, Berkeley when it when it comes January. Uh, on the 27th of December, our guys uh, head to Colorado Springs and we're there for about 15 days uh, with the group. And it was a good, intense uh, training session, not only in the pool, but out of the pool. Uh, we had our performance psychologist out for a couple days. We did some uh, nutritional classes with the USOC uh, at Colorado Springs. So I think that they were really growing as athletes, not only through their training, but what they were learning, what they were picking up, what they were finding out about themselves. And we bring that back to the environment here at Berkeley. We want to continue that on over the next uh, nine weeks heading into NC2As. January, we start to transition, uh, and especially as we move, you know, maybe from the beginning of January to the end of January, we transition from a training mindset to a racing mindset. We're starting to value performance in meets, especially when we have such quality competition coming in, such as the Arizona schools or heading uh, to, down to LA and swimming USC and Bakersfield, or finishing up our dual meet season with Stanford. We start to really value the performance of what we're doing uh, in the water while keeping a good process-oriented mindset as we're moving through these next nine weeks. Our group of seniors that we're honoring, we're, we're honoring eight of our seniors uh, on Senior Day uh, on, on Saturday against Arizona State. And it's just, it's great to see their paths and their unique places that they've come from, whether it's, it's Peter Sear and just to, to get to this point in his career and how he's been impacting our program, our diving program, or it's someone uh, like Trent Williams, just to see the path that he's uh, gone through to get to this point. Uh, and then, you know, a, a Jacob Pebbly, a, a Josh Pernod that had the opportunity to represent the United States uh, this past summer and are looking for that opportunity to represent the United States in this coming summer at Olympic trials. It's, it's, it's fun to sit back and reflect on their, on their time, a Scott Haberly and how he's impacted our program. Tyler Messerschmidt and his unique path and journey to get to this point in his career. Nick Dellinger and how he continues to impact our program day in and day out. And finally, Jeremy Dizwerick. Uh, I mean, you know, just someone that not only has done a great job in his Cal career, but you can, you can kind of look into the future uh, with Jeremy and, and know that what he is doing, he is just going to be a successful man <laughs> in, in, every, in every way, shape, or form. And so that's really, really cool to see. And it's nice to, to sit back and reflect upon where they've come from, where they've been, the trials that they've gone through to get to this point in their career. It's really impressive to have this group lead us over these next three months. And, and it's um, because each of them bring a different personality and characteristic uh, to our journey over these next nine weeks.